Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Africa. Democracy 3 Africa, to be precise. Thank you for joining me as we take a quick look at the latest title from Positech Games, Democracy 3 Africa. So, after the release of Democracy 3, um, the sequel Africa was eventually announced. And it is more of a standalone expansion pack than it is a sequel to Democracy 3. This time we take on an entirely new challenge. Whereas before in Democracy 3 we were looking at the uh, Europe, the Americas, um, countries like the United Kingdom, uh, Germany, Amer the United States of America, Canada. Now we look at an entirely different problem. This time we head to the wilds of Africa we leap and start dealing with corruption. We start dealing with arms dealing. We start dealing with um, severe um, discrimination from uh, against women, against um, people of different sexuality. It's an entirely new challenge that Africa brings us to. And with an entirely new challenge and an entirely new continent comes entirely new countries. And they have a selection here as we see Mauritius, Botswana, Tunisia, South Africa, Ghana, Senegal, uh, Zambia, Kenya, Nigeria and Egypt are all playable. Um, and each of these countries comes with massive, massive differences. Be it population size, be it GDP, be it the development of the country itself, the corruption within the country. Um, and obviously with all of these comes all new policies all new um, ways to tackle the issues. For anyone that's played Democracy 3, everything will be very, very familiar. What you'll see is the um, the massive screen of um, of policies and of um, problems within the country. As we can see here, uh, there is a new um, in the boxes in the middle there is an extra box compared with democracy theory and that is women and we can see that they are affected by gender inequality female genital mutilation maternity leave and many many other um, other issues that will deal with their happiness and their voting preference what we see again different uh, different problems we have race riots there's ghettos, there's religious persecution, we have extreme nationalism, military interference, um, poor transport links, power blackouts, um, skill shortages, technological backwaters, pollution, uncompetitive economy, things like female genital mutilation. This is huge, uh, a huge issue in the media at the moment as well. Now, a couple of things that you need to be aware of when you start playing Democracy Africa. First of all, if you've played Democracy 3 and you have any user-created mods, you need to delete them. And that's not just unsubscribe from them in Steam. You need to go into the folder in Steam um, and delete it. So if I pull up uh, my folder here, you will see we would need to go into the C drive, uh, the program files, then down into Steam and Steam apps, common, find Democracy 3, and in this you will see we have uh, in extremism social engineering if you have the um those expansions this is where you'll also find any other user created mods and in there you need to delete them you need to get rid of them because otherwise the game simply will not launch you will get to the start screen and the game will immediately crash it is not compatible with those mods um, so new mods will need to be created um, and that is uh, obviously it will take time but that's something that you really really need to know about. Now, with the gameplay itself it's obviously very similar uh, to Democracy 
three you enact policies um, and you can enact them through the policy ideas screen which is separated into foreign policy, welfare, economy, tax, public services, law and order and transport. So much like um, Democracy 3 there, again things like the, uh, the pie charts and the deep information that comes from them, the income and the overall charts, these are carried right over from Democracy 3 as is the cabinet as well. What is also carried over from Democracy 3 is the intelligence services and the very, very real chance of assassination. Um, it happens very often to new democracy players. It happens mainly due to wild changes that they introduce when they start the game. So that's obviously still an issue. Um, some players just can't get their head around it. Other players have managed to deal with it. Um, it's really up to you to develop your country um, to deal with the uh, very real threat of assassination and it kind of happened very quickly in one of my first playthroughs I was assassinated before the first term of my government had ended by um, a group of farmers. So I say very similar to Democracy 3 set in an entirely different continent with entirely different problems. If you enjoyed Democracy 3, you're very, very likely to enjoy the expansion as well. If you perhaps dabbled your toes in Democracy um, and were not entirely sure of it, you're going to get more of the same. And if this is your first time coming into the Democracy series, while it can look exceedingly overwhelming with all the, um, the blues and the reds and the colours and the the massive information that's thrown at you from the start. You need to have a look around the forums, there's some great links there, the Democracy Reddit is there, the official forums as well on the uh, developers website. You will find a raft of information that will help you get started and help you understand all the different nuances that are required to be successful within this game. Overall, um, the overall review, what can I say to sum this up in a, in a few sentences. Realistically, if you liked the previous games, you're going to get more of the same um, with new challenges and new policies to deal with. Um, so yes, as a fan of the games myself, I would highly recommend it. Um, and to the general gaming um, populace, I would say take a chance. It's not very expensive. Comes at... at um, 10 at 9 on Steam, uh, it's a great price, and uh, yeah, give it a go, give it a go, support some of these different games, try a different challenge from your normal gaming, you might find that you really enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.